Now there's no denying that there's absolutely stacks of different power packs on the market right now. And to be honest, they're pretty much as common as your rods and reels now. Most people will have a power pack of some sort, whether it be a cheap and cheerful Amazon one, this just rolled over my right rod, so I wouldn't be surprised if that goes off very soon. Or all the way up to your expensive leisure batteries, the sort of thing you go camping for a week or whatever. But what about the in-between? And that's where a lot of us have the pretty generic ones now, which have a several USB ports, so you can charge your phone multiple times on longer trips. And this is Rebel Cell's offering to the market. Now, this is the Power Rebel 48 case. As the name suggests, this is 48,000 milliamps. So it's quite a beefy size power pack. This is how it will come in the box. I'll be opening it up for you and show you exactly what it looks like on the inside. I've only got my hands on this pretty much earlier today, so this is as much of an unboxing with a little bit of information from what I've learned. On the inside, you've got your power supply to charge up the item, and these two little mounts, which I'll show you in a second, once I've got the power bank out, what they are actually used for, but quite obvious. To start with the case itself. It's a nice shock resistant sort of neoprene bag and carry case that it comes in, so that's nice. It tucks in your bag, it's got it scuffed up. If you drop that around, it's gonna, one, should be a bit more shock absorbent, but also just protects it for uh, a bit more. But if you don't want to use that, no biggie, because it is a rugged battery pack on its own. Open up, so you could keep it in its case the whole time, and then you can access the out ports and charge it through this. But it's quite nice, if you don't want to have it in there, you can take it out, so we'll do that now. Quite a snug fit, so try and get it off. There we go. And here is the power pack itself. So texture-wise, it's quite smooth finish all over, and then two a bit more textured rubberized grips on either side. Fairly flat profile, I'd say, I don't know, two inches thick, and well, you can just see, <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much about the size-wise. Chunky bit of uh, kit, but it feels robust, so and it's quite heavy, so that suggests that inside there's no wasted space and it's not like it's all flashy looking big, like a big power bank, and not packing a punch inside because it is. And as I said, 48,000 mega amps, I think it is, MAH, so it's a pretty beefy one and it should charge your phone. I think it's 15 times from full, a standard phone, and a, a a tablet, something like an iPad or something, should charge it up to five times on a single charge. Now, talking of the outputs on this, we've got several options. So we've got the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Oh, that's a really satisfying sound. This is this is more for my enjoyment than yours, but listen, that just satisfies me. Snug fit, it's attention to detail. So it's not a, a floppy little um, cap that fits in nice and snugly. So no grime's gonna get in there when you've got it closed, but uh, it keeps it nice and protected as well. So you've got your 12 volt out. So that's perfect for if you've got like a, a little portable fridge or some laptop chargers, things like that. So it's nice that you've got that one on there. If we open up the next one along, we've got our DC in, so that's where you charge the power pack. And also next to it is a, is a C port, and that's in and out. So I think you can charge it from that. Again, double check before right, you do that, but I'm pretty sure the C port can go both ways. Uh, so that's all perfect for your fast charging. So for example, if I plug my uh, C port to C port in to my phone, plug it in, and it should be giving me fast charge straight away. Yeah, fast charging. I've already got 70% battery, but 13 minutes until completely full. So fast charging available through the C port, which is nice and handy. Just take that out and close that back up. Again, nice and snug fit, closing those back up. So when it's in transport, if you're not using that bag, you're chucking this into your carry-all or something, it's not like any grime that's gonna get into those ports as long as you close them up. And move along again, we've got the last two out ports and these are just standard USBs. So whether you've got USB, USB-C, or cigarette port out at, ooh, that's gonna go any minute, it's bubbling as well. You've got options um, on there. And then on the very end, we've got the button. Now this does multiple two different things. If I tap it once, it shows me how much charge is left in the power pack. So it's flashing or solid two LEDs. So it's pretty much half charge. And of course, if I fully charge it, it'd be full. And if it's low, it would be going down to one or completely out. Now that button also serves other features. So if I press and hold, as you can see, I'm hoping it's turned on. It hasn't, press and hold. <laughs> Bit longer this time. There we go. We have white LED. Now, it, by the power pack, if it's fully charged to 48,000, fully charged, this can be left on for three days straight. Not that you'd ever do that. I don't think anyone would ever need to use this light for three days straight, but uh, that gives you an idea of how much power and juice this thing puts out if you're using it on its LED like that. If I press it again to turn it off, 
like so. If I double tap, it brings on, oh, I've double tapped it again. If I double tap, it brings on red flashing. Now, I'm not entirely sure what you use this for. Maybe as long as you told your mate, if I'm in trouble, I'm gonna put this on. So uh, look across to my swim. If there's flashing red, I'm in trouble. I'm never really sure. A lot of these items on the market, multiple power packs and, and head torches and bivy lights have functions like this, which I'm not sure when you'd ever actually use them. But if you did need that for one occasion, let me know in the comment section below what you use this for, because uh, I'm never quite sure. If it was an SOS flash, it might make a bit more sense. But there you are. It's an option there if you want it. So I think that's pretty much everything covered on this. I've told you about the capacity and how much this can charge multiple things at the same time, how many times you can charge a standard phone. So my uh, S22, I think it is I've got, would charge, should charge up to 15 times. And of course, a smaller phone battery will charge more, a larger phone battery will charge less, up to five times with a tablet. And you can do your laptops and, <coughs> excuse me, and fridges and things like that through it. So a very, very robust and not overly big power pack so you don't have to go all the way up to a leisure battery size to get a decent amount of charge for a longer session and i did say i'd tell you what these little mounts were for quite obvious these little u cups or u um feet put like that so you can sit that on your bivy table upright if you like so so you can position that light shining out of your bivy or into your bivy and you can access all of the uh, ports on its side whether you'd use that it's completely up to you but it is an option there so there you are the rebel cell power rebel 48k for more information do head over to their website and check it out and uh, if you want to pick one up of course then do the same but if you haven't done so already please like this video and also subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads coming out from us and also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now that's it from me so cheers for watching and i'll see you again soon